Make no mistake, during this session of the General Assembly, public education is under attack. We're looking at severe budget cuts that threaten to eliminate teaching positions and decimate the jobs of teacher assistants. The end result will be larger class sizes with less people to serve the educational needs of our students or, support, or provide the support they need to thrive. And there are other threats to public education in North Carolina. Senate Bill 8 will not only eliminate the cap on charter schools, it will create a drain on resources at the State Board of Education for oversight, because it's difficult for them to um, provide oversight for the 99 charter schools that exist now, but it will also allow money to be taken away from pu traditional public schools for the unpromised, unproven promise of innovation. The opportunity par to participate in the laboratories of innovation are not provided for every child. If a student needs transportation services or free and reduced lunch, there's no requirement that the charter school provide it to that student. This doesn't lead to innovation, but only segregation. And these uh, charter schools can receive money from local education agencies um, that receive money for child nutrition and transportation. However, they don't have to provide it. That's not equity. That just leads to segregation.